In the heart of the Cotswolds lies a place where 6,000 years of human history and a wildlife-rich landscape meet. Where signs of ancient settlements lie beneath rare flowers, birds, butterflies and a wealth of animal life. Welcome to Greystones. I'm lucky enough to have seen a few picturesque spots around the country, but this place is quite special. The river over there attracted livestock farmers back when cattle were first domesticated. They'd have built defensive settlements up here on this higher ground. And because it's ideal for them, cows still graze these lands 60 centuries later alongside the wildlife. These cows now milk themselves, bringing farming right into the 21st century. In the farmyard, Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust have created a visitor centre to help you explore the site and picture how it would have looked over the ages. Thousands of years ago, this area was buzzing with people and had important buildings. Today, you can just about see where the main walls were, but the feeling of history is still strong. You've got the archaeology, the wildlife and the farming and the theme that runs through all of those is, is people and the way that they've managed this landscape and this farm for about 350 years. Down the lane from the farm towards the meadows, Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust staff, along with dozens of local volunteers, have built a replica Iron Age roundhouse. The roundhouse is one way that we will help people to make that imaginative leap into the Iron Age. We can bring school groups here and we can show them how people in the Iron Age were living, how they're forging metal, industry, trading, so all these elements you can sort of demonstrate uh, using the, the Iron Age roundhouse and the area around here. Spending time in a landscape like Greystones is good for our well-being. If you sit quietly in the meadow, you might see fox cubs playing with their mother. This year, she raised her family just a few yards from the river. Or you could hear a water vole leaving the reeds. In the summer, these vibrant water meadows are full of invertebrates. It's a place that's hopping, jumping and crawling with life. If you wandered around a meadow on a day like today, and you look very, very closely at the flower heads, you will see things like soldier beetles and hoverflies and all these important pollinators that are very easily overlooked, as well as bumblebees and butterflies. Otters will use the river behind me a lot and, and water voles, there's a good strong population of water voles here as well. Some animals are shy, hidden or only come out at night, which is why we show photographs and videos of these creatures on screens at the visitor center. Greystones has some rare and special wildflowers, including Great Burnett and Marsh Orchid. It's also abundant in wildlife that used to be common throughout the country, but is now struggling to survive. It's really important for us that Greystones is so embedded within the local community. We've got volunteers here who are helping with the education, they're doing ecological surveys at Greystones, they're looking at the human impact, and they're helping with events. Volunteers are even building roundhouses. People come to Greystones for all sorts of different reasons, for peace and quiet, to learn on one of our many courses, to have fun with their children, or even just to walk their dog. It's the ideal opportunity to simply connect with nature. All of us at Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust warmly welcome you here and hope you enjoy experiencing this beautiful place. Mm -hmm.